Greetings, Taurus. How are you? Welcome to your reading for December 8th to the 18th. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Um, these are Orisha Tarot cards. That's what they look like here. And um, what I wanted to say was uh, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm blessed to have you. I've been doing this for a long time. Um, I've come a long way and I'm just grateful every day. I just, I always thank and thankful and for you, for everybody. Okay. And the support, especially the support and the love that you give. I'm very, very, very blessed to have you. Okay. But let's see what's happening for you. I am going to do the Crooks on Sada where I shuffle. 10 times. And the Crux on Sada is in representation of the Unk. This life survives on all planes until the time comes to reincarnate. That is just a small snippet of what the whole, uh, what that whole saying really means. And uh, towards the middle, like end of the month, I will um, do videos with the, the with reading out the, um, the saying that that comes from, that I will read that out to you and we'll talk more about that. Okay. So Taurus, Sun, and Rising, December 8th to December 18th, 2017. Taurus. All right, Taurus. So you have the Eight of Air energy here. Someone may be leaving the house or the workplace environment here. Um, I get that you're fighting for a change. You may be trying to get someone to stay like in a workplace or at a home, but they're like, they're threatening. Like you, you may be dealing with an air like energy that is doing this or somebody's just threatening. Either they're threatening to leave, they're throwing stuff around, they're, they're in a, uh, in a rage. Like I get that you're dealing with someone who is like, they're in a rage. Like they're in a rage, they're angry, they're, they're fighting, they're argumentative. Uh, I get like you can't really deal with this anymore and you're not really afraid to say goodbye. So if somebody's going to act out like this, <laughs> um, like they just need to leave. And it could have been something that you heard about that someone did. And, and you're like, good riddance, good riddance. Uh, you didn't belong here. You didn't do a good job. You, whatever the situation is, this could be someone you live with, someone that you're dating, someone that you have children with. This could be a family friend, etc. but they, they, they got issues. <laughs> and it could be an air like energy that you, that they have issues. Like something is, uh, I get bipolar. You may be dealing with an air like energy here. I get an Aquarius I was doing Aquarius reading and I was getting a lot of mental stuff. So it could be an Aquarius-like energy that is bipolar. Like somebody's got uh, some type of bipolar or maybe you're thinking that somebody has like some type of mental stuff going on and like out of nowhere, they're just like leaving and you're like, good riddance. I didn't like you anyway. You weren't doing a good job anyway. You weren't a good lover anyway. Whatever the situation was, okay? Or is, I should say. Your starting point has the aid of water. This new communication with this person in rage, uh, I get that this is a husband. Somebody's husband is uh, either like they're they're becoming abusive, they're abusing alcohol, like somebody that you're dealing with, either a water-like energy or an air sign, somebody's abusing alcohol. And it's either like, that's where the argument and the, uh, disrupt, the disrupting in the household energy is coming from, either in the house or in the workplace. Somebody is, it has, been indulging in activities that have either been they've been it's been making them fuck up like it's been making them do a bad job it's been making them like lax days go lazy maybe you think that somebody's doing drugs or something and that's what's making them like not do a good job in the workplace or not be a good lover like not be there for you someone cannot be there for you anymore and it's because uh i get like aa with this so someone could like need they, someone may need to go to like a, a alcoholics anonymous or something is it you I don't know what the deal is, but it just kind of feels like I go both ways because these weeding readings, I said weeding. So maybe somebody is, is weed, like they're on, like they're doing weed a lot. Okay. Like you, at least maybe you're hearing that maybe somebody, I get like injection, like somebody has been injecting themselves with something or like shooting up in their arm or something. And like you're, you may be hearing about that. And that's where this aid of water energy is coming from. It's not that it's a lie. There's an element that where something is a lie here. It's a lie. It was a setup, uh, a prank. Maybe you think you're being pranked. Something is going on here. And it could have to do with some form of abuse. Maybe, maybe 
somebody yelling at you or somebody being rude to you either at home or at work you're like are you kidding are you joking are you serious are you on something like that's what you, you could be saying that to yourself that oh you're drinking or you're alcohol or you you did something you smoked something and that's why you're leaving that's why you're wanting to leave me you're not serious you're kidding you know what i mean so you're thinking that somebody's pulling your leg pulling their finger they could be serious they're either serious or they're lying okay they're serious or they're lying either about some type of habit that you, this is a newfound something like it's new it's a new energy here so it kind of feels like you may be finding out that someone has a bad smoking weed or or drinking habit like it's a habit that you're somebody has been doing around you in the workplace and it's a water it could be a water sign that you're dealing with that they're going through this somebody may be sneaking and they're, they're drinking things alcohol but I, I get survival like this is somebody is doing something that is 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 against the law but it's for them to survive so it could be like medicinal weed <laughs> you know it could be medicinal weed but maybe you don't agree with medicinal weed or you are taking medicinal weed <laughs> and maybe like you're sh you're talking about this to people this could be like somebody is very serious like they're uh, they could be very religious or they could just be very serious with the kind of things that they put into their body you know what I mean? And you're you 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 may be very adamant about the fact that maybe that you feel like weed should not be legalized, and maybe somebody is doing this to benefit themselves. A water like energy is doing this. It, some something about it it helps. It helps that like medicinal weed helps. Like it helps ailments. It helps. Uh, I think you have to get like a license. You have to get like a license or something for that. Some type of uh agreement or something you have to sign for that. Doctors recommend these kind of things. Like it's holistic care. But maybe somebody doesn't agree with that form of holistic care. Either you do, you don't agree with it, or a water sign is talking to you and they don't agree with it. I get chanting. So something that somebody has been doing, like they've been chanting, like chanting, maybe you think that is is evil. Like there's something that somebody does where you think that it's like it's evil, but it's just supposed to be good. So it's either weed and it's medicinal weed that somebody's taking to for their health. It's supposed to help them. It helps out with their seizures or something. You don't agree, a water like energy doesn't agree with it. You don't agree with it. Or there's a situation where somebody's chanting, like a uh like a like spiritual chanting with children or something, and that could be why like they're being scheme out of a job maybe parents don't like that like there's something that somebody's doing in a workplace either that you're hearing that they're like they drink a lot of alcohol every day like for breakfast lunch and dinner or they a weed you know what i mean or they're doing some type of chant it's religious maybe you're dealing you're working in a place where you have to be biased is the energy that i get and you're dealing with people who you know they're not you know they're not very open-minded you know, you're in an environment where people are not very open-minded that you're working in. Are you not? I mean, not to go both ways. Or you're dealing with a water sign that's not open-minded, whatever it is. Or somebody's just very hippie-like. And maybe there are people that don't like that. Maybe you don't like that somebody's a hippie. You could be very religious, and you may be talking or dealing with someone that's very, you know, they're very hippie-like. They have a, a, you know, like a one love Bob Marley kind of feeling going on here and spiritually like they're not a you're dealing with someone who's not very religious basically and maybe you are and they do things that are like it's against your religious beliefs you're waiting on the ace of water energy here ace of water so you're waiting to hear back from a water sign energy if it is a water sign i get ideas like you there's somebody has been collecting ideas from a person that they probably don't even like <laughs> you know what i mean so you could be on the outside looking into maybe people are complaining about one person in the workplace but at the same time like they actually like their ideas and they have been using their ideas so you may there was something that a water sign energy does or air sign i don't know something that somebody does in the home in the workplace like you don't like it this is like being a hypocrite like somebody's doing something around you and like you're like you're pointing the finger at them or they're pointing the finger at you like I, I thought you didn't like this i thought you didn't smoke weed i thought you i thought you were not like i thought you weren't a drinker whatever it is and you're doing it or they're doing it you know what i mean this is hypocrite somebody is like a hypocrite here or somebody is like not 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 that it's a hypocrite like you could use ideas from a person that you feel you know maybe they don't maybe their lifestyle isn't that good 
you know, someone that may not be living a very good lifestyle around you or you, I don't know what the deal is, or somebody's just not living a good lifestyle, but some aspect of that lifestyle, and this could, it, you, you could be dealing with a person that has very, like they've got a lot of good ideas there. I get a home wrecker. They're a home wrecker, but at the same time, it's like there's something that they do that you do not like. Either they smoke weed or they do some type of drug. It's not the drug that they're doing, if it's a drug or if it's weed, it's not affecting their work. It's either affecting their work or their or it's not affecting their work. Or some aspect about their spirituality, you know, the chanting, the that they're trying to ideas, they try to give you ideas about. People don't like it. You don't like it. But there's something. There's if you don't like one thing about them, there's something else that you like about them. And it's this because they're they're a home wrecker. They get things done. Like they don't waste time. This is like somebody that works well, but they balance out their recreational life with their you know their recreational life with their their work life. Like they're very. You're dealing this new. It's a new relationship. It could be somebody you just met. This is somebody that this could be somebody that is getting hired somewhere, or this is somebody that you you're dating them, but they're just very they're drastically different from you. You know, like this is kind of like how are you able to manage like working with children, or how are you able to manage doing this kind of job, and you 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 smoke this, or and you drink like this, and somebody's got secrets. It's just somebody is just able to handle somebody is is very good at handle they handle themselves with care. Either you do or water sign energy does. Like they're like don't mind me. You could use me as an example. Don't mind me. Like I actually get shit done. <laughs> I actually get stuff done. You could be saying that to this this water like energy here and and confrontation you, you may have said something to them that made them a little bit uncomfortable vice versa wise. But it's true. Like they're not telling you something that you have not heard before or like either like you, you know what this looks like? You could be complaining about something health wise about yourself or something that you're doing or some type of a need for an idea. Water sign energy is giving that to you. But maybe you've complained about them before or they've complained to you before about something. But they're still like, I'm still going to help you regardless if you don't like this aspect about my life whatever it is. So somebody's still giving you a helping hand after you diss them or have after, or you're giving someone a helping hand after they diss you, whatever the situation is. It's a new partnership. Whatever it is, it's new. Um, you're waiting for an apology, vice versa, from uh, some type of new relationship that you're in here. That's why this is in a weight position. And you've made, you've hurt somebody's feelings a little bit and they, you probably hurt yours. Uh, but you hurt each other. You may have hurt each other's feelings by being hypocrite, hypocritical or whatever you want to say. Your present has the dwarves and gnomes energy here. Uh, you're staying up late to work or you're staying at your workplace environment very late. And that could be where you're learning more about this, uh, either this new relationship. This could be a late night date. Uh, you're going out to get a late night snack. You're walking to a store, but it's late. It's at night. Or you're staying late in a workplace environment, but that's your way of getting to know or learn about somebody a little bit better. Something is making you uncomfortable about this relationship, either because maybe you feel like somebody's going to do something to hurt you, like do something to hurt you. Like they, like they're very, like they're like a snake. Someone is like a snake that you're dealing with. There's an octopus here. So that kind of looks like, you know, there's tentacles around this boat. You could be the boat. The octopus could be the water sign. <laughs> Somebody is very like like you think like they're shady, like they're shady, uh, but it has something to do with nighttime. And maybe they're sharing things with you at night that maybe during the day they don't share with uh that they don't share with other people during the day, either in the workplace or in the home. This is like pillow talk. You know what this looks like? This is pillow talk with uh either a new partnership that you're in with somebody, or it's pillow talk, like you're you know, pillow talk, like at night, like at night, you're outside, you're in a park, but it's late. And they're sharing things with you that they've never, that you've never heard before. And it's, and it's a shock. And there's some element about it that's making you uncomfortable. Either it's weed, it's a drug, it's alcohol, it's their lifestyle, but they're, they're a home record. They still do a good job of what they do during the day. This is like a vampire that you're dealing with. Or somebody is like they're like they're one way in the daytime and they're a completely different person at night. They're completely different. And you're going out with them, you're hanging out with them. You know what I mean? This is interesting. Your future has a seven of fire here. Okay. This uh 
Ooh, I get something something about nocturnalness. <laughs> something is nocturnal. And it, this does not have to be a water sign that you're in a relationship, by the way. This is, and this could be a fire sign that you're dating and seeing, or a husband or a family member, where they're the ones that they're you're in a new relationship with, or you've joined hands with, or you work with, and you're finding out things about them. But I was getting nocturnal, and this nighttime is like, I didn't know you do that. Like you're finding out things about a person that is, it's a shocker. It's uncomfortable, but it's at night. Like you're fine. They're doing this at night. They're talking to you about this on night, either at night, either over the phone, a voice, they're leaving a voice message. Something has happened to somebody, but it has something to do with their life. It has something to do with the, the way they live, like their lifestyle or something that they, you're thinking that because somebody so, something happened to somebody crazy. Like you're thinking that it's because of what they do or chanting or witchcraft or something. It's interesting. Your instincts has the village card. I get like a coming inside. Something about coming inside or you need somebody to just come inside. Somebody may be arguing outside and at, at night. That could be what's going on here. And that was the aid of water energy is coming from. It feels like there could have been a fight breaking out either about somebody's lifestyle. They do drugs or the way they live, etc. here. And it's a fight that's breaking out. And I was getting that nocturnal energy. So it kind of feels like maybe you didn't know that someone had uh, like food cravings. You live with somebody that goes into the fridge or they sleepwalk. You're using your intuition about this, though. Like, I didn't know you do that. I didn't know you sleepwalk. I didn't know that you whatever. And it's causing, it's making you a little bit fearful because, like, you feel like, like, you're comfortable with somebody, but you're not. You know, they sleepwalk. This new, this new energy, this is new. Somebody you're dating, somebody you met online, somebody you're talking to. They're nocturnal. They're nocturnal. They're walking around at night. They're doing things at night or they party. That This could be somebody that parties. You're finding out that somebody does like late night parties, swinging parties or something. They may be asking you to, to join this. You're like this, That's not me. I'm not into that kind of stuff. You may be telling somebody that whether it's weed or some type of lifestyle or something that somebody does, chanting, something to something involving spirituality. It could be like you're trying to invite somebody to go to church and they're like, no, you are saying no, or like you, you could be dating somebody that's very religious and maybe you're not very religious, or at least you're not, maybe, I mean, religion and spirituality, like they're separate to me. They're not, I mean, they, they they have a bond, but spirituality is an extract from religion and religion is a form, is, is formed from some type, some branch of spirituality. Spirituality, I mean, religion is based on spirituality. Spirituality is, is what is the start of everything. Ide I, ideas and views, spiritual views, ideological views of, of, of something. Someone may be, getting, may be trying to get you to go to church and you're like, I don't want, I didn't, I'm not a church going girl. I wasn't raised that way. I'm not a church going guy. You know what I mean? Or you, you're trying, maybe you feel like, Somebody who does like whatever this new relationship is, either in the workplace or at home or personal, whatever this new relationship is, if you feel like somebody needs to be in church because of what whatever it is that's going on with them personally, either it's weed or they do drugs or the alcohol, maybe you feel like deep down in your subconscious, they need to be in church. Like you're saying that somebody needs to get prayed for. They need to be in church. But there's a hypocritical like energy that's going on here. Either you're being a hypocrite, either you have not lived purely before. You consider maybe you consider yourself to live purely. There's an energy that feels like they live purely than everybody else. You know what I mean? And maybe that's where the hypocritical energy is coming from. So either you're telling someone that they're not holy, <laughs> you know, because of what they do, you know, their lifestyle, the smoking, the drinking, the sex. Whatever it is, you're, you you make, but you've done that before, or you've been down that alleyway before. You've been somewhere before, either in jail before. Someone has been in jail before, and it's like somebody coming out of jail is like telling somebody else like how to not be, or or they they're trying to be controlling. And like who? And, and this is kind of like know your place. And this is like you know hypocrite, like a hypocrite. 
somebody has has been down an alleyway that they're they're trying to tell somebody else not to go down that has their life together is the feeling that I get here. Very interesting. And it could be somebody you work with, somebody you live with. Like you don't have the right to tell me that. You don't have the, the right to tell me if I don't want to go to church, I'm not a church going person. Like you, you don't have the right to tell me that. You who you're not my mother, you're not my father. Somebody may be telling you that. Are you trying to invite somebody to church or to, to some type of chanting? Like you could be trying to invite somebody to like a, a volunteer or it could be, it doesn't have to be spiritual. It could be you're trying to invite somebody somewhere. Somebody trying to invite you somewhere that you're just not or they're just not into that, whatever it is. And it could be volunteering. Maybe people, maybe somebody doesn't like volunteering or helping out the homeless. This could be an invitation to help out homeless people or something. And you, maybe you don't want to do it or they don't want to do it. And you feel like somebody needs to do it. They feel you do, whatever it is. Getting involved with community. But they're, they're very hell-bent in their ways. They're very prideful. A very prideful person. Either they're a water sign or they're a fire sign that you're dealing with that's like this. Your accomplishments has undines and mermaids. You're dealing with a mother. This could be an older female that's very creative in nature. Water-like energy here again. Uh, I guess you want somebody to mind their business. A water sign. It's a water sign. Older water sign. It could be your mom. It could be somebody's mother that you want them to mind their business. Either about what, going to church. Maybe you're deciding to go to church. You're deciding to be holy. You're trying to get them to come to church with you. They don't want to go. They're not religious. They're not as religious as you. This could be a mother and daughter where the mother is more religious or the daughter is more religious than the mother. I get like, I told you so. There's a I told you so kind of feeling going on here. Your spiritual self has five of fire. You're trying to get somebody to change either a fire sign or a water sign or you're battling. You're battling with both. You're trying to get somebody to change something about themselves or they're trying to get you. This battle could be an a internal one that you're having. It could be health. It could be drug. It could be weed. It could be alcohol. You're bat somebody's battling a fire like energy, maybe battling. They don't want to change. Somebody doesn't want to change some type of lifestyle that they have. And it could be somebody new. It could be either this is a new relationship with a water sign or a, a, one, a an existing one. That you're trying to get them to change something about themselves, vice versa, or it's a new one or an existing one with a fire sign. And there's 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 doubt. They're doubting something that they're doing. And I get that hypocrite energy again. Someone's trying to play you for a fool, <laughs> vice versa wise. They're like, they're like, come on, really? You know what I mean? Five of fire. You're battling within yourself, or a fire like energy is battling here. Okay trying to get people to change something about themselves, trying to get somebody to go to church or chant something, you know, chanting or prayer, chanting. There's learning here, spiritual learning. Like maybe you're like, like I said, with the hell bent in the waves, it could be spiritual where somebody is very, they're very much like, you know, I believe that weed is helpful. I believe that you can chant different mantras like these are all forms of spirituality, but somebody is it's not like you're not seeing it that way or a, 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 a fire like energy or whoever this energy is here is not seeing it that way. Somebody's hell bent in their beliefs. They're hell bent. You are or a fire like energy is the water sign is trying to get you to uh, to try to get you to differentiate <laughs> whatever your lifestyle, whatever you do. Either you're very religious and they're not, and they're they're like trying to get you to break out of your comfort zone, and you're not ready for that. And it's a new relationship that they're just different. Mentality, devil card, sign of Capricorn. You're thinking about a Capricorn. Uh, it could be Capricorn that water is in their chart, or you're dealing with a Capricorn energy here, or some type of manipulative energy with the devil card. So somebody's got addictions of some kind. Like it's in your mind. So you're thinking like I was getting the weed and the alcohol. Somebody's got addictions. At least you're thinking that a water sign is a, could be addicted to you or they're addicted to a, a lifestyle or you're addicted to a lifestyle or a person or you're thinking about a, a, a person, either a Capricorn, a water sign or a fire sign. It feels like you're trying to transform people <laughs> or you're in your mind, you're like, uh, uh, it, your mentality, this being in your mentality is like, you're thinking that maybe like a Capricorn is transforming like people's like points of view here. Somebody's point of view. 
you are doing that or a Capricorn or a water sign is somebody is, tr is transforming more than one group of people's point of view here. It's incredible. Whatever it is, it's incredible. Uh, and I get reaching high heights with this devil energy in your mind. You're doing that. So you are you may be a catalyst for trying to help people like in a religious way, in a spiritual way, or a Capricorn energy is. But what, it, it, this could be like uh, you're very, your spiritual Capricorn or water sign energy is spiritual. It's just that somebody's form of spirituality, like either you're closed minded too, or you're, you're dealing with another energy that they're closed minded to that. This is like being open to different forms of spirituality or being open to different forms of holistic care, like, like weed or medicinal weed. You know what I mean? They're like, you did that already. You smoked weed already before. Like, how are you telling me I can't smoke weed or I can't take medicinal weed for my back pain, my epilepsy, my, my hemorrhoid? Someone may be trying to take medicinal weed for a hemorrhoid. Capricorn energy here. And you don't agree with it or a, a water sign doesn't. You know, your somebody's spiritual and religious views are very much in tune with like with their health. Very much in tune with their health. Okay, maybe you're thinking that bad things are happening to somebody or somebody's health because they're in some kind of, or they chant something, or you think they're doing witchcraft. I don't know. What's changing your relationship to a water sign here? I get a uh, distance, like you're creating, uh, you're either creating distance or I get bridging the gap. There's like a bridge, you're bridging a gap between you and a water-like energy. You're considering something that this person is trying to offer you. So they're trying to offer you medicinal weed to help you. If it's a Capricorn, <laughs> you got a Capricorn energy here. Somebody's trying to, uh, you see it as, med as medicinal weed. You see it as something that they're trying to help you. That they're trying to help you like with either like <clears throat> get a license for medicinal weed. You're trying, there are your, I don't, I don't feel like, you could be trying to help somebody. You're using your mentality to help people. A fire-like energy, help them like come out of their shell, break out of their shell, or ha go out with them. Like I said, like going out, you know, their lifestyle, somebody's lifestyle is very different from yours. Nocturnal, they do things at night. You know, somebody's trying to get you to take medicinal weed. You're trying to get somebody to take medicinal weed or alcohol. Somebody's an alcoholic and they're pointing a the finger at you like, oh, you did it. You did this. Like, why can't I do this? You know what I mean? So this is very spiritual. This is health. This is you trying to transform somebody. Or you got a Capricorn energy that is trying to, to make waves by transforming the, the health, the health, somebody's health, your spirituality. You know, this this could be your own addiction about trying to transform people, like a broad spectrum of changing people's minds about religion and spirituality. That's what that could also be. Or it's a Capricorn that's doing that. Or it's a Capricorn that is trying to, to get you to take medicinal weed or something to help you out. You're doing that to them. Or you're trying to tell them to pray, <laughs> be, to help them, whatever it is. Because maybe you think that somebody is living a bad lifestyle, vice versa. Your resolution has the six of water. So either like uh, some memory from childhood, issue from childhood, some type of past. Like it's your involvement with a person is what's coming back to the past. Some type of relationship, a new one is, is some type of relationship that you're in with a water-like energy here, either the water or fire, Capricorn. It's reminding you, like I said, pointing the finger. You did this before. You were in this before. You were in jail already before. How are you telling me? You smoked weed before. How are you telling me? You drank all this alcohol, you know, like or, or it's religious or spiritual, in nature and it's like how are you telling me and you're how are you telling me to chant this and that and the third or pray and you're living like this you're doing that to a fire sign or or it's a, a water like energy that is coming back from the past that wants to be with you or somebody else or or you work with them but some aspect of your relationship to them either to a fire sign a water sign or a capricorn is reminding you of your past something that happened to you health wise lifestyle wise how you got to where you are is deja vu like it's giving you a deja vu like situation okay all right taurus let's look for an outcome for you let 
your five of wands. Uh, you're tired of arguing either with a fire sign or you're just tired of argu arguing with people in general. This could be five people. It could be you are, you're on an outside looking into five people arguing about you, something that you're doing, um, or you're a part of the argument. And it's like you're contemplating leaving a person or leaving a workplace or some type of environment because it's just too much. I, you can't handle something. And it's a relationship with a workplace. Something is, is not managed properly, and it could be the management of a workplace. It's not managed well. People are leaving. I was getting that for a couple other signs. It's not managed well, and it's just like, this is like you're worried about coming out of a, like, needing to, a new job. Nine of Pentacles, you're hoping that someone would come in and offer you something or come back so you can have a reason or somebody else can have a reason to leave or someone has gotten offered something, and that's what's causing all these arguments like somebody's trying to offer you something, you're trying to offer someone something, but they're hell bent in their ways, or you're hell bent in your ways, whether it's health, spiritual, something pertaining to a lifestyle, you know, chanting, praying, needing to pray, chant, meditation, some form of meditation or something. All right, cool. All right, Taurus, so be blessed and uh, let me know how this resonates with you. Like, subscribe, and share. My Instagram is available, amaniife777 at gmail.com, okay? Wait, no, not at gmail.com. That's my Instagram. I mean, at Instagram, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Hassani Ife is, is, uh, is my email. <laughs> sorry. All right, take care. Be blessed. Bye.